I'm gonna show you my take on a taco dog. You've probably heard of taco dogs, but you haven't seen this one. So we've been making these taco dogs for about probably three years now. And we love making them. We make them when we go camping, we make them at home. The thing about it is one of our friends actually uh, loves taco dogs as well, but he kind of does them in the microwave, what I'm gonna show you here. We like using the Blackstone griddle. So we came up with this way of making these. They're awesome. And I'll kind of show you some of the ingredients that goes into it. So the first thing is gonna be, of course, the hot dog. You know, you have the Oscar Mayer, Mayer cheesy hot dog. Uh, the other thing too is Swiss cheese. And I'll tell you why the Swiss cheese is important here in a little bit. And then we also use these tortillas. Being that it's a taco dog, you gotta use tortillas. Now what's nice about these cheap tortillas, and this is kind of where you might be able to call it a keto dog as well, is they're really high in fiber. They're called Mission Carb Balance Tortillas. So you're gonna wanna make sure if you like this recipe, you get these, these tortillas because it kind of keeps the carbs down, keeps the fiber up, that kind of stuff. So that's what's really nice about that. First, I'm gonna jump right in and kind of explain to you how we make these. And the first step is actually just gonna be cooking up the hot dogs. Real easy to do, obviously. Everyone knows how to do that on the Blackstone. So we're gonna cook up the hot dogs and then I'll go into the next steps. So the other hot dogs I'm actually gonna use are what's called the Better Cheddars. If you like that idea, you can substitute that for um, the Oscar Mayer hot dogs that I'm using, but just realize that the stats are gonna be a little, little different on the nutritional value. But the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're making your taco dogs is you're gonna wanna set up your, your ingredients here. The way we make the taco dog is we actually take a tortilla and we take a piece of cheese. Now you're gonna wanna use Swiss, and this is trial and error that we figured this out. The, the hot dog's already got cheddar in it. Look at all that cheddar. So by adding the Swiss, it kind of gives a different taste when you put the Swiss and the cheddar together with the hot dog and with the tortilla. It's awesome. What we do, and this will make it quicker for you, is just kind of set up each one of your tortillas so they're ready. And this top one, you can see, we put a slice of Swiss cheese on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the hot dog on there. And I'm gonna roll it up. And then I'm gonna cook it on the griddle. I'm gonna show you the technique that I use to cook it so that way it's crispy all the way around on the outside. done. Now you can cook them any way you want to cook them. What I like to do, especially on the Blackstone griddle, is I like to make them to where they're just kind of swollen up a little bit. And to me, that's ready to go. So I'm going to pull the hot dogs off and I'll show you kind of how this works here. And what I'm going to do is I've already got my tortilla and cheese set up like I showed you earlier. So I'm going to drop that hot dog right in there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to roll this right up. Now Blackstone's got a sweet uh, cutting board that typically what I might do is cut the ends off because you got a little bit extra in right there, but I don't mind eating that, so I, I like them on there. Um, but if you do want to cut them off, the Blackstone cutting board, and I'll actually put a link to that in the video, but the Blackstone cutting board you can actually put on the griddle top and you can cut right on there. So it makes it really quick and easy and the feet are protected to use that that way as well. All right, so I've already got the hot dog wrapped up like I showed you. What I'm gonna do is I use this device with these, just kind of through trial and error that works really well. And this is actually a Blackstone product that they sell for tacos actually. And so needless to say, I use it for that. But what's nice about this is your goal is you're gonna wanna crisp the outside of this. That's where it gets really good. So what I do is I pop this over into this and then that way, and you'll be able to see what it looks like when it's in there. And then what I'll do is I'll flip it around as it's cooking and just try to crisp it up a little bit. And so that keeps it right in there so it's not opening up and it's crisp for you. It works really, really well. Okay, so as you can see, is I've got all the hot dogs set up in there. And what it's doing right now is it's actually melting that cheese around the hot dog inside of there. So that's, it's, that's what makes it really good too. Definitely check this out if you want to do this because this, this little device works really well for it. All right, so hot dogs are cooked up. You can see from the outside here, they're browned really well. You can also see, I'm gonna show you here a close up. You can look inside of it and see the Swiss cheese is all melted. And that's what makes it awesome. Why do we do it this way? Well, for one, it's like you're trying to cut down on carbs. Okay, I haven't had a carb since 2004. You know, and I was kind of telling you earlier that it could almost be like a keto dog, uh, taco dog, you know, whatever you want to call it. So to give you an example, 
just the Swiss cheese at 60 calories right there. Uh, you got four protein, two carbs, four fat. And the tortilla, this is what's really cool, 70 calories. So when you're looking at another piece of bread or, or some of that nature, whatever you're using, a hot dog bun, a lot of times in calories can get pretty high on them. And with the tortilla, it's 70 calories, five protein, 19 carbs, three fat. What works really good is it's got 15 grams of fiber in one of them tortillas. Uh, the hot dog, the Oscar Mayer is 120 calories, uh, six protein, one carb, 10 fat. So when you, when you put it all together, for one of these taco dogs, it's 250 calories, so that's not bad. What's neat about it, it's 23 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fiber. So the, the nutritional stats on that are really good. What's really cool about this is it's awesome, it's quick, it's easy, and I promise you, if you try this out, you're gonna love it. So the other thing, I wanna make sure that you check out our other video called Tortiza. We actually use these same tortilla shells, but we made it into a pizza. So that, it, that was awesome. So check that video out, that's been real popular. I think you'll like it too, especially if you like that, that fiber content. All right, so thank you so much for watching our video. We really appreciate that. And I'll tell you what, if you're the kind of person that's into Blackstone griddles, maybe you're into travel, maybe you're into you like seeing products review, camping products review, definitely subscribe to our channel. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, turn on the bell icon because we really appreciate that. If you've got any uh, different types of recipes that you use on your Blackstone griddle, maybe you've got a different take of this taco dog, let us know. We love reading comments, so put them out there. And I'll tell you what, some of these different items with Blackstone, I'm going to put in the description. Uh, you can actually order it right from there from our link. Uh, it does give us a little bit of a, a kickback on it, but we truly appreciate that support of our channel. We really do. So if you're interested in any of these items, whether it's the cutting board or the, the taco holder, uh, maybe the griddle even, if you don't have a griddle and you want to try out the griddle, uh, sh the link should be in the description of our, our video for that. So thank you so much for watching. Because I like to eat. Is that such a crime? Hey guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more great content that is ready to